Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Ball and BC, and today I have a Minecraft skin editor video. Now it's been about five years since I made the last one, in fact here it is. This video is for the website minecraftskins.com. Now this is the website right here, this is what it currently looks like. It, this is a website where you can go find skins that other people create to use as your Minecraft character. or you can use their skin editor like this one here. Now, this editor has changed quite a bit since 2012, so let's go over some of those changes. As you can see right here, this is pretty much the same as the one from 2012. Now, they added the option to choose between Steve and Alex. There's just a slight difference in the width of the arms. Now, what they also changed is they've made things a lot better in terms of being able to edit the skin itself. Now, you'll notice if you look very closely that there are multiple layers to the skin. So, for example, if I do this, like that, you see how that's like that? Okay. That is actually on the overlay part of the skin. So, if I click that off, I can now edit the body of the skin. And then overlay, body. Now if I just want to edit the overlay, I can just use the overlay there. I don't have to worry about getting messed up by the body. If I just want to edit the body, I can go in there like that. Voila, and the overlay is on. Okay, let me reset that real quick. So, another thing to notice here is so you have the body and the overlay. Um, you also can edit individual parts of the body. So, say I just want to edit the head and the base head there. There we go. Now I can edit the head in all the freeness that I need without having to worry about looking at the other parts of the body. Now you can also turn mirroring on and off. So if I wanted to I could e separately edit one arm to look different from the other arm but if I want to say create a unified look to something like a t-shirt, I can turn mirroring on. And so, like say you're making a skin color or something, and you want the skin of your character to be the same color on both sides. Well, here you go, you can then do this, and it'll mirror whatever you're doing on one side of the body to the other. Which it makes for creating the skin much more easier, or creating whatever you want much more easier. Once you're done with this, you can then, of course, you can log in and upload to the Minecraft skin so then everyone else can download your wonderful skin. Or you can download it to your computer so then you can upload it to the Minecraft site and so you can play in your Minecraft worlds as your lovely arm, yellow arm, blue face guy. Or if you want to, if you already have a skin that you download from somewhere else, you can upload that skin from your computer and edit it right here. So those are the basic updates from the 2012 version of the site. Um, let's just go over the basic tools, of course. So right now we're using the pencil tool, which allows us to draw on here. This is the auto tone tool, which allows you to create a more toned version of whatever color you've used. So it will add in various colors from a range from the color that you've selected. So you select a red one, it'll select various tones. So this is good for creating, like if you choose a skin color of some type, you can make it look a little more realistic than just a flat color. Um, of course you have undo, which you can undo any, you made a mistake, go through, undo it. You can redo, of course, if you went one too far back. Here you have a color picker, so say you used a bunch of colors right in here. You don't know which color you used um, and you just which color, did, which one's this one? I want that one. And then you can then go through and it'll switch back to the pencil and you can of course use that again. Um, and then you have the eraser tool so this black dot it's not supposed to be there, boom. Then you're good. You can er erase the ones that you want. Okay. Now you can darken colors as well. So 
This simply all it does here, if you notice here, so we'll start at white, it'll darken the color. It'll go right down the spectrum there. You want to lighten the color, it'll go right back up. And so that is pretty much all that has changed right now. You can, of course, rotate it by clicking somewhere next to the body. So where this hand comes up, you can rotate around like that, however you need. Um, if you have something off on the side like this, like you have a picture you want to create, if you have the hex number right here, you can copy that and then paste it right here. And there you go, you're, you're now coloring with that color. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. Um, there's also this paint bucket tool that allows you to paint an entire side of your character. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Um, if you liked this or this was helpful, give it a like. If it wasn't, give it a dislike. If you think others will help, if you think this will help others, share it if you want to. If you want to subscribe, eh, doesn't really matter much to me, but go ahead if you want to. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Uh, I hope this helped and uh, have a good day.